Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Now, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add uh, contacts and those lead forms in, onto your pages, your websites uh, using ClickScience AI. Okay, so uh, I guess it's a very important video, especially if you're trying to build your email data list, you're trying to uh, collect and collate uh, data from uh, visitors onto your website, or you're doing free giveaways, high ticket sales, doing surveys, and so, so, so much more. Now, in a previous video, you would have seen integrations where we actually connected um, the uh, our autoresponder via the API. So there's a video on that. Okay, and you'll see that through integrations that was already covered. So if you haven't seen that, then I would uh, suggest uh, go ahead now and connect that before you proceed. And the next step would be, okay, once we go to our page is to go and start adding in those uh, opt-in forms, okay, those um, contact forms. Now here's a website, okay, so as an example, say uh, I'm doing a teeth whitening kit, maybe I want to give out a free sample or maybe I want to give a free guide on how to uh, whiten your teeth without uh, a kit, for example, then I would want to try to capture as much information as I can so I can do follow-ups and build that database, etc, 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 whether it's for my own website or maybe it's for the client, that's something that I can do. So in order to find the contact form, you need to go to sections, okay? This is going to be the key place you will find it. Now, you do have a, in content blocks um, a tab called contacts, but you won't have that ability, okay? It won't be in there. However, under sections, under all categories, under contact here, under quick start, you will see we have two there to choose from, okay? So once I select that, I'll go for this one here. So I can actually choose it. Uh, and if I want, I've got a bit of text I can add. That's completely up to you. <clears throat> Or you can just have the box now uh, the next thing you may be thinking okay how do I do the settings and set it up so it connects with my autoresponder okay how do I actually connect this all up uh, in the previous version there would have been a tab here but to make things even much more easier for you uh, simply select the tab okay that you want to go ahead and you want to edit you can see here once I select uh, this section here with their name or anywhere on there actually you'll see this little cog now appear you know with the, the green um, border around the entire uh, element now select settings now the fascinating thing uh, with this now you'll see the pop-up has now appeared the form builder so even though we have these sections of name email and message these can be edited and you can customize them uh, by simply either rearranging, you can actually remove elements, or even you can add elements, whether it's short text, long text, adding a number, a slider, a switch, selecting multi options, drop down, uploading files, or multi uh, file uploads, date, times, um, uh, phone numbers, email, URLs, uh, colors, hidden, space, or heading, videos, you know, instructions. So if you're doing high ticket sales, you're doing surveys, you want uh, maybe users for customer service to upload their issues and send it uh, directly. You can just imagine the possibilities of doing this um, just by simply, uh, you know, uh, one single, single click and then you can do nice rearranging and you'll see that how that appears. Okay. Not only that now to take things even further, uh, as you would imagine settings. So when uh, the button submits, you want to see what happens. Okay, when that happens, you'll see these will be some of the messages that will appear. You have the designer function, so you can actually customize the colors, okay? Uh, with the border, the submit button, the reset button, um, the design buttons, all of this you can now customize. Now, to make this even more amazing, we have this little magic section, okay? You can see here, it's called generate. And it's asking you, what kind of form would you like to generate? I'm going to say, I want a high ticket survey form and guess what you can actually now build it up in different languages also so if you built the site already in another language uh, you can actually make that congruent but i'm going to stick with english and guess what just select generate and then we'll give that a few moments to process and what you're going to see happening now instead of me building out the the form bit by bit you know element by element i can now allow click sites ai to build build out and produce a high ticket survey form for me so some of the typical input questions fields that you would expect now even though it builds it out it doesn't necessarily mean i need to stick with that form but it can give me um, ideas or a foundation that i can actually tweak customize or build better and remember you know things like chat gbt will actually help you also uh, to get the optimized form and add entry forms you know rearrange it in the best optimized way okay and check this out now we have a form here so high ticket uh, offer survey form and i guess you could change that around 
just going to edit form so you can see now the uh, generate function here the magic generate function has now added all the uh, fields what's your name email address um, what best describes your current role primary business or industry etc etc and um, as you go through you see preferred method of contact etc etc and I mean you could even add even more to that you know uh, with the time uh, maybe a video message instructions what to expect next steps and you know with a telephone number uh, you would imagine something like the telephone number if I go to edit form um, preferred method of contact I could obviously you always put the telephone number much higher up okay so let's have a look so method of contact yep perfect or I could just add that myself so and there we go it just drop right at the top okay so you can give as many options for the information and you can see how brilliant that is I mean it's really sophisticated uh, how you can change it and just remember with edit form uh, you can see all of this stuff you can actually edit and uh, you know edit in terms of you can put your own brand your business there you can tailor make it uh, with the correct information or just update it so with the magic generation uh, element here you could do that with anything okay so it doesn't matter what business it is just gives that flexibility of getting everything done for using AI now once you're happy with that what is the next key part once you customize it done all the settings etc etc is integrations yes this is going to be the key part so we've got email marketing in integrations. so one thing I mentioned is that once you're inside or you've integrated that's going to be the key thing now connect your form to the email marketing platform right now we have get response connected so there's a video tutorial on this uh, where I show you this connection once I select get response connection you can see it is now in the process of connecting once it connects what we are hoping you can see we can see autoresponder list it will fetch that information and then we can select from that so we get that a few moments okay next we have integration so with this uh, it's going to be the key thing isn't it so with all to respond integration depending what you're using you can see I've got my get response connection there uh, ideally once you connect it then you can choose from your list okay that you want to specify and you'll see a nice drop down so then you can select that specific drop down or if you don't have an autoresponder then what you would ideally do is just leave it blank what will happen i'll show you later on in your account it will actually collect that information for you so uh, once somebody submits the form and they go ahead okay then you have two options that you can dictate do you want them to stay on the same page or then you can re or alternatively redirect them to like a thank you page a delivery page or you know a, a booking page a appointment page etc etc so you have those options so if it was to, if you were to redirect them like a thank you page then you would put that updated link so you know if you have a product maybe a Philip product uh online offline product services uh, it, you know this is the basic setup that you would expect when it comes to your opt-in forms in terms of uh, creating that funnel next you also have webhooks so if you actually want to uh, do your own uh, services where you want to have your own flow uh, that's something a little bit more advanced that you can actually use okay alternatively like i mentioned if you have your own autoresponder opt-in pages and you want to use the custom html code that's something you can also do okay into using the HTML editor. Now, once you're done with that, just simply select OK and check this out. That's it. You can see that form in there. Or even with the forms, like um, you could just make it a very short page and put two columns, and on the left could be uh, a video, uh, or this could be its own separate page. But I just want to show you how that would look like. And even if you're in there, check this out. There's nothing stopping you from going to the editing and changing the background color. Okay. So you change it if you wanted to and make it light. So you can actually then customize this and obviously in the settings, uh, remember the designer, you can actually change the default text and make it really pop out. But that looks really beautiful. I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm just uh, explaining you know, these are some, some good options that you can choose from, okay, just to make things stand out. And then you have dark, okay. If you want, you can make it a little bit bigger or smaller and you can customize it accordingly. And even with this section here, now we had it. Um, yes, here we had it. There we go. If I wanted to add maybe a video, then that's something I can do. But uh, once that form's done, you can see it's quite a big form there. Okay. Uh, what I'll do, I'll show you that very quickly again. And let's keep this one really simple. So name. Okay. So the same thing. I'll show you very quickly what I'll do. I remove this. Um, I leave integrations. Yes, none, none, none. Because I just want to show you an example. And then uh, we'll go ahead and save. 
Okay, once we go save. And you can see publish here, this is going to be where it will be active, okay? So here we have now the preview of it. This is how it looked like. It's a large screen, so demo one, okay? My email at gmail.com, okay? And then you would obviously um, select send. Because it's preview mode, it may not load. But let's go ahead and I'll try to show you what it may appear to look like. However, that would be the process, and when it does uh, accept it, then either refresh or redirect. Okay, and then once that's done, because this preview mode probably won't populate, so you'll have the two options now. Either it'll go to your autoresponder, depending if you've set it up in settings, like I've shown you. Okay, as you've gone here, remember with the integrations, you'll have settings where you can actually do. Okay, so here you can see, uh, it'll give a few moments, it'll load, and then you'll see the list that you can choose from. And then, um, Secondly, once you're here, if you go to leads, okay, so leads section, you'll see this is where it will appear. Okay, so you'll have all these contacts. If you're not using an autoresponder, it will now um, appear here where you can actually view it. You can see all the information there. And depending, if you've um, got more information, depending how big your form was, then all that information will collect. And then if you have, uh, you know, your email set up, SMTP, then uh, you can actually, it will go to your email and you can actually set that up and reply. But once you've got these emails, if you want to do it manually for customers, got pages set up and you've got the leads that are coming into, um, you know, uh, ClickSites AI essentially in your own backend, you would simply go select export leads. Okay, and what will happen, you can see there's a tab now appears and all your leads will come in a CSV file Excel document Then you can use. You can actually then uh, repurpose and upload or if you have a client, then you can actually uh, give it to them. So all that information will be there. Okay, and you'll see also under your contacts here, uh, if you've integrated it, it will also appear under the list that you have selected. Okay, so if I was using ClickSites AI, then those contacts would also appear here. <coughs> So in this video, I've shown you how you can add those contact uh, contact forms onto your pages and then you go ahead and uh, select settings and then you can customize it. And some of the amazing features here is the ability of using AI to generate the forms for you, makes life much more easier. Once you have it, you can edit it and you can enhance it uh, and tweak it until you are happy. And then it's the last port of call is to integrate, but always make sure that you save it. Um, and once it's saved, then obviously you can make tweaks, you can come back, you can do your thank you page, delivery page, any other page. So you can imagine you can make all sorts of uh, marketing funnels uh, for your website. So uh, thank you again for watching and I shall see you in another video.